All right, guys, so I've got some pretty exciting news to share with you guys today, courtesy of this month's Dokkan V-Jump leak. First things first, I want to give a big shout out to Miguel slash DB Legends Japan on Twitter for posting, uh, you know, these leaks, these images. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, before anybody gets too excited, I do want to clarify that we are not getting a new Doge coup and Dojan, even though that would be absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure this is just like Miguel's watermark at this point. But what we are getting is a Dokkan Festival exclusive transforming Garlic Jr. As you can see right here behind the Doge coup and the Dojan. And that is just absolutely amazing, man. I mean, how long, how long has the player base been asking for Garlic Jr. Um, the game is over six years old at this point. We've pretty much had, I mean, not like every character, but like every, you know, villain, every major hero at this point from the entire franchise, I would say. And Garlic Jr. was that was just that like one outlier that like was forgotten for so long. And now he's finally coming, guys. Garlic Jr. is finally coming to Dokkan. I don't know how many people are like super hyped for him, but he's been just missing for so long that he's kind of become a meme. And now the meme is finally over, guys. Garlic Jr. on the way, um, I would assume at the end of this month, maybe beginning of June, because usually that's like the delay between a V-Jump leak and like the actual unit coming out. Um, for some people, you know, who are wondering if like we're going to see what he does for the V-Jump, not V-Jump, the uh, Dokkan Now program tonight? Probably not, because once again, this guy's coming out at the end of the month or beginning of next month, and uh, the Dokkan Now should reveal something that's dropping like right after the Dokkan Now comes out, and it's gonna be for Global and JP at the same time, so um, I, I think the original prediction for that still stands. It's most likely gonna be a new LR GT boss of some kind, right? Like Super 17 or Baby, or maybe even Omega, we'll see. But that's happening in roughly 12 hours. So if you guys um, you know, want, want to watch that live with me and possibly some other people on the channel, then make sure you uh, keep an eye out for the stream, okay? But uh, yeah, going back to the main topic here, the V-Jump League. Garlic Jr., guys. <laughs> Garlic Jr. Unfortunately, we don't know what he does. They don't really reveal any details on these V-Jump leaks. But I would assume that he's going to be pretty damn busted because, um, you know, whenever they release these, I don't I don't want to say like side characters because he's not, but like he's not really a very hype character, I think, for a lot of people. I could be wrong. He's not for me, though. And, uh, you know, just like they did with Videl, I think they're going to make him extra busted. Maybe not as good as Videl, but he is going to be very, very good just to incentivize people to, uh, you know, spend the money to buy the stones and try to summon for him. So I'm looking forward to it, man. I can't wait to see what he does. I can't wait to see these animations. And uh, the other thing that was revealed is that there's going to be a new LR Trunks and uh, Bulma, I believe. Yeah, Trunks and Bulma at the bottom left here. And they're going to be a free-to-play LR. And they're going to be the next Super Battle Road LR, which of course means that there's also going to be 10 new Super Battle Road stages. And this would be for the regular category Super Battle Road, not, um, not Extreme Super Battle Road. So there you go. Hopefully you guys can see the image. It's a little bit small, right? But um, the quality of the, of the leak is not like the best right now. So, uh, you know, just wait for like a better scan to come out and then you guys can see a better or a more clear image but it's nice it looks like a really you know clean um art and i'm all for free to play lrs so there you go now one last thing that i heard but i don't think it's true is something about like lr trunks getting extreme z awakening i think it might have just been wishful thinking possibly because i heard a few people say oh lr trunks might be getting a z uh that the prime battle one that is but i don't see anything about it uh, Miguel hasn't said anything about it, so for now, there's no LR Trunks ECA. Um, 
yeah, as you can see, yeah, Garlic Jr., new LR Trunks, Balma, and Drive. And then a uh, new stage added to the new Super Battle Road. So yeah, 10 new stages, new LR Trunks and Balma, and then Garlic Jr. So that's pretty much everything we learned from this month's Dokkan V Jump League. Now, one last thing before we go, we got a new Extreme Z Awakening for uh, Sin Shenron, all right? And as always, we're gonna go with the pre-Easy 8 details, and then we'll talk about the Extreme Z Awakening details so you guys can compare the two. So starting with the pre-Easy 8, leader skill is Fizz types, attack and defense plus 60%, super attack, supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. Passive is attack plus 80%, all enemies defense minus 30%. With the Easy A, it's uh, Fizz types keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is all enemies defense minus 50%, attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional defense and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7%. Her GT bosses category ally on the team so he can get an additional um, I guess 70 oh my god hold on you have five or, or if you have seven um, GT bosses on the team so a full GT bosses team essentially that's 49% more defense and 49% crit chance that's pretty legit man so if you give him no crit in his hidden potential he can basically crit half the time. And then if you get seven or more key spheres, then he also performs a guaranteed critical. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to know about him. Uh, by the way, he's not getting a new Extreme Z battle. It's gonna be the Omega Shenron medals. So you're just, so you're just going back to the, the Omega Shenron Extreme Z battle event to collect this guy's medals. And uh, that is the Omega Shenron, or sorry, Sin Shenron Easy A. He's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty good. He's not like busted uh, by any means, but I think his attack's gonna be, you know, solid, especially, you know, with that 50% chance to crit essentially with a uh, full GT bosses team. His defense should be solid as well. Like not crazy, but uh, maybe like 150K, maybe even 200K, um, depending on the rotation. Obviously you wanna link him up with the Biz or uh, SDR Omega Shenron for the most links and oh yeah he has big bad bosses too right so with big bad bosses active he should be looking pretty good he should be looking pretty good I know a lot of people are not going to be super impressed with his easy A details and you don't have to be you know you don't have to go crazy over them because like they're not that good but he is going to be a very solid Extreme Z Awakening Extreme Z Awakened unit for sure so um, there you go guys. That is I think everything that we learned today. Uh, I hope I didn't miss anything if I did Maybe I can leave a comment under this video or something like that But for now, you know, just a quick recap. We're getting a garlic jr. Dokkan fest We're getting 10 new super bad road stages with an LR trunks and Bulma and we're also going to be getting um, Sin Shenron extreme Z awakening and then whatever we learn from the V jump so, well, why do I keep saying V-Jump? Whatever we learn from the Dokkan Now program tonight, um, that's also going to be new for both Global and JP, most likely. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait to see it with you guys. Uh, definitely tune into the stream if you are available around that time. And that's it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Miguel once again. Um, and hopefully at some point in the future, we get that Doge coup and... Uh, Dojhan, I'm sure Elon will make it happen, but <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.